Hey, hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to another video. I'm Ogazed, your host, and today we're gonna have a look at the Wave XLR from Elgato. What it is, what it does, and how it may help you make better content. Well, grab your cuppa, get ready, because you know what time it is. It's unboxing time. Let's go. Just take a quick moment before we go into the unboxing. Uh, the Wave XLR, as you can see from the box, it is a microphone interface and digital mixing solution. If you have a USB mic, I would not recommend this product straight off the bat because it is made for XLR mics. I want extra mics are. Stay tuned. We'll talk about it. I just want to take this moment to make sure that I'm delivering the content that you're after. So, if it's not what you're after, there are a lot of other videos on my channel that will may help you more than this. That said, let's go. All right. So we saw the unboxing. And just to confirm, so this is the front, as you can see, it's touch. Um, and you can turn the nod to turn the gain up or down. You got the mic symbol, you got the headphones. All 
Alrighty guys, we had a look at the um unboxing and okay, so we had a look at the unboxing. Uh and just to confirm, this is the device that I'm talking about. You have the button and the front that is touchable. You have all your warning lights at the bottom. Then at the back, you have the USB in which is the one that comes from your PC. Then you have your headphone jack. And then on this, <laughs> on this side, I'm trying to do the thing, but I'm, I'm the other way around. Um, you have your XLR port. So if your mic doesn't have this port inbuilt into the mic, it's not a XLR mic, right? So you most likely have a other USB mic or a headphone which is beside the point of this video at the top you have this mute button it is amazing right you have someone coming into the room or you see a phone call for whatever reason you just tap it and it mutes the mic i'll show you how this works now to the ports at the back you grab your XLR cable that it looks like this. You plug it in straight. And then you plug in your USB. Boom. And magic, it lights up. Now, you have your button that you can press. Um, any changes from, from mic? The headphones and to the other one like <laughs> uh, I'll put in the comment what that is. Uh, don't worry about the red one. No, no, not just now. So and then with with the button you can also you can also turn it up and turn it down. It's scrolling wheel. Okay. Um one thing that you saw before that it came all red. What that means is, I accidentally, but on purpose sometimes, you want to click the mute button. So when you click the mute button, that's when it becomes red. As you can see, reckon, yep, there you go. And it becomes white. Now, let's have a look at what the software looks like. Let's do this. All right, so as you can see, um, you have your all your sources at the top. You see the yellow the yellow sign. Don't freak out. I mean, said they're not connected at right this moment. Okay, so you see, um, I, I'll start to use the Wave XLR after this next couple of videos. I do have another video coming up about a mic XLR mic, but I'm using the Garo a, a Wave free for a long time um that access the same software so either use a Elgato wave one free or wave xlr they will start the same software um and you can only get it with either of these products it's free it's basically it comes with your hardware um i really like it because you can manage can manage all your sources and then import them into either OBS, Twitch Studio, Fuse Streamlabs, they're completely up to you. Um and I haven't tried it with Recentral or Edgardo's own streaming software, but I guess they will work with that too. And also it's integrated completely with Stream Deck. So that's one of the things. Um and also you have plugins. That you can add so i have the nvidia broadcast uh, nose removal it's still in beta so it's giving me a little bit of trouble but maybe your experience will be different and that's said it's still in beta then you have uh mail the production with a lot of filters that you can use um and that will mean that you can actually filter your mic before it goes into 
OBS instead of having to add it separately and then use the filters uh, that are built in OBS. So it just kind of makes it easier. You know, it, it, it just makes it all in one place and that's easier to manage. You know, if you want a full tutorial on Wavelink software, drop it in the comments. I'd be happy to do it. This was a quick unboxing video. I know, very, very quick. I just wanted to get the word out there uh, that there are other products. One thing that I found um, myself is sometimes people, oh, yeah, yeah, let's go with a USB mic. There are pros and cons about USB mics as there are for XLR mics. One thing, that, one point that I want to get across is XLR mics are not as expensive as you think. Okay. So, yes, you may need extra hardware. The Wave XLR is one of the hardwares that work with XLR mics. It's not the only one. All right, guys, I do appreciate you staying until now very, very much. Um, if you're still here and you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and leave a comment. Even just a favorite emoji. That will do as well. Uh, it helps out the channel and putting on the notification bell, you will be notified next time that I upload a video. So, goody goody. One thing that I want to mention before I end this video is Elgato Wave XLR is my choice. This video is not sponsored by Elgato or by anybody else. <laughs> so if you want to sponsor the video, you know where to find me. Now, with the Wave XLR, it is my choice because I already own other Elgato products. And one thing they're doing really, really good Elgato, let me tell you what makes you superior than any other brand at this point. So at the time that I'm recording this video, is that everything, every single hardware that you have, works very well with each other which is great one thing that you're doing really really bad let me tell you i have no problem saying this this is constructive feedback one thing that can be done better is software other than you know sometimes be buggy that's fine you know what i mean it, it, it it's something that everyone has one thing that really bothers me is how the hardware works very well with each other. They like all one ecosystem. And then you have five softwares. Five for, you have lights, camera, um, capture card, um, Wavelink. You know what I mean? Like you have way to just make one software that has everything. One hub.